Hi, hello, welcome you all to Econometrica. I am Kavya. We will start the MCQ session with the MCQ session. So, we will start the MCQ session with the MCQ session. So, we will start the MCQ session with the MCQ session. The first question. A consumer maximizes utility when the marginal utility per rupee spend is equal across all goods. Marginal utility diminishes as consumption of a good increases. Utility is maximized when total utility is at its highest point. So, the right statement is option A. That is, consumer maximizes utility when marginal unit or marginal utility per rupee spend is equal across all goods. Adepole, marginal utility diminishes as consumption of a good increases. Next question. Demand curve slopes downward due to substitution and income effect. Law of demand states that demand increases as price increases. A given good, there is an exemption to the law of demand. And the right answer is option A, Anna. Demand curve slopes downwards due to substitution and income effect. Law of demand states demand increases as price increases. No, inverse relation. Anale. Given good is an exception to the law of demand. That is also a correct statement. Income effect shows the change in quantity demanded due to a change in consumer's purchasing power. For normal goods, the income effect is positive. For inferior goods, the income effect is always negative. Sorry, is always positive. So, the right answer is option A, Anna, 1 and 2 only. The substitution effect is always negative in relation to price. Substitution effect explains that consumers substitute cheaper goods for costlier ones. Substitution effect can be positive for given goods. And the right answer is option A. If the utility function is Cobb Douglas, demand for a good is unit elastic with respect to income. A linear utility function implies perfect substitutes. A utility function with right angle indifference curve indicates perfect complements. And the right answer is option D. Which of the following is not a property of indifference curve? Indifference curves are downward sloping. Indifference curves never intersect. Higher indifference curve indicates higher utility. Indifference curves are concave to the origin. Option D is your right answer. Basic assumption of revealed preference theory. The right answer is Choices reveal consumer preferences. Next question. The CS utility function allows. And the right answer is option C. Constant but flexible elasticity of substitution. The linear expenditure system demand is split into. And the right answer is option A. Fixed and proportional parts. According to the Weblen effect, the demand for good is. And the right answer is option B. Increases due to its high price and prestige. Bandwagon effect reflects. And the right answer is option C. Consumption driven by others' consumption. Snob effect implies that. And the right answer is option B. Consumers value uniqueness and exclusivity. In the short run, at least one factor of production is. And the right answer is fixed. The marginal cost is less than average cost. The average cost is. The right answer is C. False. If output increases. More than proportionately to input increase, the firm experiences. And the right answer is increasing returns to scale. If output increases, more proportionally to increase in out input. Traditional cost theory assumes a U-shaped cost curve due to. Right answer is option D. That is law of variable proportion, increasing marginal returns initially, economies and diseconomies of scale. Modern cost theory differs from traditional theory because... The right answer is, it assumes cost curves are L-shaped. It incorporates marginal technological advances. Option A is your right answer. Cobb Douglas production function implies, and the right answer is option A, constant elasticity of substitution and returns to scale can be identified. CS production function is characterized by, and the right answer is constant elasticity of substitution and flexibility in substitution. VS production function allows, and the right answer is option A, substitution elasticity to vary with input proportion and greater modeling flexibility. Translog production function includes, and the right answer is option A, that is second order terms for interaction and nonlinear estimation. As a cons represent, the right answer is option A, all combinations of input giving same output, downward sloping and convex curves. Producer's equilibrium occurs where and the right answer is option D. Isocons is tangent to the Isocos line. MRTS is equal to ratio of input price. Total cost is minimized for a given output. Marginal rate of substitution. Right answer is option A measures rate of input substitution in production equals the slope of an isocon. 
firm exhibits increasing returns to scale if the right answer is option A. Doubling input leads to more than doubling output. Production function shows exponent sum greater than 1. Perfect competition. Right answer is option A. Firms are price takers. There is entry and exit. Free entry and exit. Under monopoly. The right answer is option A. There is only one seller. Marginal revenue is less than price. Monopolistic competition features. Right answer is option A. Many firms and differentiated products. The demand curve is associated with. And the right answer is option 2. Sorry, option A. That is oligopoly and price rigidity. In the short run, a perfect and competitive firm. And the right answer is option C. Can earn super normal profit. Faces a perfectly elastic demand curve. And producers where P is equal to MC. The long run equilibrium under perfect competition. The right answer is option D. That is forms a normal profit. Price equals minimum ATC. Economic profits are zero. Price discrimination is possible when. The right answer is option A. Markets can be separated. Elasticities differ across markets. Under monopolistic competition in the long run. Right answer is option C. Firms earn normal profit. Excess capacity, excess marginal cost equals marginal revenue. In oligopoly firms are. Right answer is option A. Mutually interdependent and often engage in non-price competition. Price output equilibrium under monopoly occurs where the right answer is option A. MR equals MC. Price exceeds MC. Under perfect competition, the right answer is option D. Firms are price takers. Products are homogeneous and long run profits are zero. Monopolies can say the right answer is option A. Price or quantity both the, no, but not both independently. Output to maximize profit MR equals MC. Monopolistic competition. The right answer is option A. There are many firms. Products are differentiated. In the demand curve in oligopoly suggests right answer is option A. Price rigidity and asymmetric. Oligopolistic firms are interdependent because their pricing decisions affect each other. Collusion is common. Dominant strategy in game theory. And the right answer is option A. Yields better results regardless of others' action is the best response to every possible strategy. Cash equilibrium occurs when the right answer is option A. No player can improve their payoff by changing strategy. Player strategies are mutually best responses. Prisoner's dilemma demonstrates right answer is option A. Why rational agents may not cooperate? Inefficiency in non-cooperative outcome. Battles are more likely to form in. Right answer is option B, oligopoly. Carnot model assumes firms compete on. Right answer is option B, output. The marginal productivity theory of distribution states that the right answer is option A. Each factor is paid according to marginal product and uh, marginal products depends on competitive markets. Euler's theorem assumes right answer is option C, constant returns to scale. Each input has paid its marginal product. All income is exhausted. Adding a problem refers to right answer is option C. That is all. According to Ricardo, rent arises due to right answer is option B. Differences in land fertility. Alecki emphasized the role of right answer is option B. Degree of monopoly and income distribution. So friends, we will discuss the first module. Economics in the session is important. Right? Like questions are not. So, if you have a question daily, please do comment and if you like this video, like it. Thank you all. Bye.